Hey guys, so week two, how did week one go? You doing great? Yeah. <laughs> so some of you might be thinking, this isn't quite what I was thinking. I thought maybe we would be getting a food list or, or things like that. Trust me, that is coming. We need to get our habits under control first. Then you'll graduate and we'll start doing the food. So first we need to get our food under control so that we can incorporate all of the other foods. So some of you might also be thinking this is a little bit easy and that's okay if you think that because to some people it may not be easy at all having to limit themselves or to be more responsible for the foods that they choose and how often they are having them could be very difficult for someone, especially if they are very um, addicted to this item. So if, if it were my husband, he would be dying right now. He would be dying for a Mountain Dew, having it only twice a week. So now is the time that I want you to really evaluate how this last week has gone. Did you do it? Did you do it at all? If you did, how did you do? Was it easy? Was it difficult? And we're gonna continue with it into this next week while adding in this next part um, because we wanna keep these habits going, right? So if you, excuse me, if you were doing your habit twice a week and you found it very, very difficult to hit that, then evaluate. Did I give myself enough time in between? Did I just do them two days in a row and then the rest of the week I'm like, oh man, I really wish I had another day. Um, did you slip up and you had it more than twice a week? You know, if so, that's okay. That's what this is about. It's a learning experience. So I want you to really evaluate how the week went. And then we're gonna make adjustments for that. If it was really difficult for you, you did everything right, you had it twice a week, and say you gave yourself an adequate amount of time in between and you were still just oh, having a really, really, really hard time and you're like, I can't do this. I don't think I can do this for, for eight weeks. Then just add an extra day. It's okay. You don't need my permission to do it. You know yourself better than I do. I don't know what you're feeling, what you're going through, right? So if you need to add an extra day for another week or two, go for it, absolutely. And then take it away when you start to feel more in control. If you're just feeling out of control and you're like, I can't, I just can't do this. I slipped up way too much this first week. I just can't do it. Allow yourself another day. And if you had it only once and you were like, I can't do this, I can't do this. And all week long, you're just like, Arr. add another day. It's okay, go to the two days. Do what works for you, okay? So really evaluate that. How did you do with breakfast? Did you have it? Did you not have it? That one's kind of a tricky one. Some people have some a hard time because they're so busy in the morning. And again, it's totally fine, all right? It's okay to make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up for it. The week one, week one is done. You can't change it, but you have control over this next week. So really take some time. This is what I wanted you to journal. I wanted you to journal down everything that you were feeling, you were going through, so that when we got to this point, then you can really make those adjustments. Because what we're doing in this habit is you're not doing what I'm telling you to do, right? I'm guiding you. So I am guiding you to find out what works for you. Everybody is different. Our bodies require different things. Our minds require different things. And so I'm here to guide you to be more in control of your, uh, of your eating habits and the things that are keeping you from hitting your goals. And so I'm just giving you some, some help, some guidance. I'm going to use the word over and over and over again. I'm giving that to you. And then you are taking that and developing what you specifically need. So if you need to change a few things up, go for it. Absolutely go for it. Okay. 
This next week, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that each of your meals, you are adding an adequate amount of protein. All right, so it's really, really hard, uh, especially, it's, sorry, it's really easy, especially with if you are eating out, say like you're really, really busy, say you're a teacher, all right? Um, you're a teacher and it's just a really crazy day. You only have like 20 minutes for lunch and you just go through McDonald's really, really quick and you just get, you know, get a burger. That's mostly carbs, right? So you're eating a lot more carbs than you think you are and carbs are not bad. Carbs are great. Your body needs carbs, okay? Your body needs carbs, but your protein is lacking and your body also needs that protein. So I want you to make sure that you have at least 20 to 30 grams of protein in each of your major meals this week, okay? So if you don't have a food scale, I would suggest investing in a food scale that at least gives you grams and ounces, okay? Super great to have around the kitchen. You just stick your plate on it and you go, I don't know what 20, I don't know what 20 grams of of protein looks like. Is that a cup? Is it, you know, I don't, I don't know what that is. Stick it on the scale, 20 grams and you're good. And then you will start to notice how much that is per item. I can now look at a cup and know when I've gotten to eight ounces without having to, to use the scale or use a measuring cup or things like that. I know how much that looks like. So you will start to, um, understand how the food looks on your plate. So that is what I want you to work on this week. That's going to be a lot more difficult than you think if you're not already eating all that protein. If you're already eating that much protein, then you don't really have anything to to change, which is great. So just sustain that and sustain what uh, we started in our first week. So everything is just going to continue to pile on, all right, as we go but we're just taking slow steps to it, if that makes sense, okay? So that is your goal this week. Next week, we are going to add a little bit more and we're gonna start getting more of a balanced plate after a while. And you're gonna start to notice how much of each of those things you need. So when you go out to eat, you're not stressing about it. You know exactly how much you need. Okay, you are training your body, you are training your mind, you're training yourself to be in control of these things. All right, so week two, continue your habit, your bad habit, allowing yourself to have it for X amount of days. Okay, if you needed to adjust that, adjust it. Okay, so at least one, two, or three days this next week. Okay, continue trying to eat something. Again, I don't care what it is. Eat something in the morning to energize your body, to get your brain moving, to get your body moving. And then now we're adding in at least 20 to 30 grams of protein. All right. That's still kind of on the low side, depending on your weight because it's different for everyone. But I at least want you to start with that because we don't realize how much carbs we consume unless we are actually calculating it and how little protein we are allowing our bodies. Okay. I hope this week goes great. I will be emailing you in the middle of the week and I will email you before the, on Sunday when we are starting our second week, just to kind of make sure that you are in the game and you are ready to go. And you don't forget and I'm here for you if you need to reach out to me through um, email or the website, definitely do that, okay? I am here for you. If you have questions, if you um, find it really difficult and you don't really know which direction to go to, come to me. I will help guide you. I want you to be successful in your journey. All right, enjoy the next week. See you later.